This video is sponsored by Trading212, which lets you invest in real stock for free. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we are in Goodwood, England, at the home of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. As you can see, it is absolutely stunning out here. Uh, I mean, you would expect nothing less of Rolls-Royce, but this looks immaculate. It looks so cool and it fits this company so well. All those square trees, beautiful kept grounds and all these super nice buildings. And next to me, we've got the all new Rolls-Royce Dawn Black Badge. And today we are going to show you everything on this car. I'm going to show you the spec we've got it in. Then we're going to take it for a drive along this gorgeous road and we are going to explore the surroundings of Goodwood because we've never been here so we are super excited for that as well. But before we begin don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're updated every time we upload a new video. And check out today's sponsor Trading212 which is a great way to own actual shares of your favorite car company if you think they're going to do well of course. Anyone can invest in thousands of real stocks for free. Just get the app, register an account in three minutes, use code AUTOTOP to receive a free share worth up to 100 euros and start investing completely without fees or commissions. You could check out, for instance, BMW. All right, so it's our first time reviewing a Rolls Royce. So I'm going to, well, take my time show you everything on this car because there is a lot so let's start with the outside let's start with the spec this is magma red it is absolutely gorgeous especially when the sun hits it so give me just five seconds as you know the weather changes quick here in england so if we wait three more seconds i'm betting we'll get some more sun uh, there we go so the color is absolutely stunning. It is so deep and it fits this Dawn really, really well. Um, because this is a black badge, that means that we've got this black chrome grille, which is absolutely massive and beautiful. We've got a black chrome spirit of ecstasy and this black accent running across or running down the engine cover. Uh, we've also got these black accents in the grille and that's what I love about this spec because you have that deep red combined with the black, the black accent. That's just, it just stands out, which obviously you want if you buy a black badge. So the fact that we've got a black badge today combined with that magma red means that all those black accents really stand out. But if you go for a black car, you would have everything blacked out. And that brings me to a story we just heard from Matthew, our liaison at Rolls-Royce. The CEO of Rolls-Royce was in Los Angeles and he was at this coffee shop and someone in a Rolls-Royce pulled up and he had a Wraith and it was completely blacked out. It had big wheels, everything was blacked out. It looked super menacing. And the CEO of Rolls-Royce thought, well, that looks cool, I'll go talk to him. So he talked to him and the owner said, well, Rolls-Royce wouldn't let me do something like this. So I did it myself because I wanted something more menacing, more impressive, imposing maybe. So uh, that is how Black Badge was born, to give the people, especially Ghost, uh, Wraith and Dawn buyers who are a bit younger and maybe want something more imposing, more menacing, the option to go for a Black Badge. And the Black Badge also means that we've got upgraded power. So we have the 6.6 .6 liter V12 by turbo in here with 600 instead of 570 horsepower. And it also has 20 Newton meters more. So it goes from 820 to 840. Zero to 100, 4.9 seconds. It also has uprated suspension, changed steering rack, uh, throttle input is a little bit more sharp. It has bigger brakes. So it really is the well handling version of the Dawn. I mean, it's still enormous, but it is the better handling version. Um, this car has the optional 21 inch carbon alloy wheels. So this outer edge, this inside, this hull is made from carbon fiber and this is aluminium, which I've never seen before, which is absolutely awesome. And of course, we've got the Rolls-Royce logo, which 
spins with the wheel so you always have the right side up and we also have a Rolls-Royce logo right there which is pretty awesome as well okay moving on as I said it is quite big uh, it's about five meters 20 centimeters uh, so we'll walk down the side it is a bit of a walk so at the rear we've got more black accents like around the rear lights this one right here with the Rolls-Royce badge and the black chrome exhaust tips uh, the black badge also gets a different exhaust with a little bit more of a sporty exhaust note but take a look at this this is awesome in here are three pipes per side so this car has six exhaust pipes and the middle one no the this these two have an exhaust valve in them how cool is that I never noticed that so that's that's really cool I don't think you've seen that anywhere else so you always have to come to us to see the best car videos okay so take a look inside with the suicide door of course we have a black leather today combined with some red accents Oh, man okay so we'll start with the black badge do you know what the black badge is what the logo is you can find it right there on the tread plate that's the black badge badge with the dawn uh, it's here inside the clock as well and we have this interior trim uh, it's called technical fiber black badge which looks absolutely stunning some contrast stitching and a lot of hotspur red detail so here on the underside of the dash uh, the inside of the steering wheel which is really beautiful and on the headrests as well there's a Rolls-Royce logo embroidered on there in hotspur red so interior wise this is all super soft we also have these lamps wool floor mats which are super deep super nice you just want to take your shoes off immediately and I also want to take the top down of course so we'll start it up and Do I look cool? I did want to show you guys something else, which is the engine. So it has a 6.6 .6 liter V12 bi-turbo. As I said, the black badge gets 600 horsepower instead of 570 and 840 newton meters instead of 820. So it is quite big, but this is actually a very big engine let's just be honest it's a very big engine but when it's inside the dawn it actually looks quite compact I would say which is cool also gives you an idea of the dimensions of the car okay the last cool thing I want to show you before we take it for a drive ah, you've seen it already of course well two things umbrella very nice and the second thing this is just James Bond awesome. I mean, I could get used to that. I want that in my 5 Series as well. Why have we ever done it in a different way? This is the best way. Okay, let's take it for a drive. And it's actually my first time driving a right-hand drive car. So, pretty cool. It's a day of firsts. This is the key, by the way. To the Rolls Royce with a little spirit of ecstasy a logo in there looks awesome and we also have I already showed you the badging on the headrest but we also have this one right here this black badge I hope I'm pointing it right very cool between the rear seats okay so put it in drive and let's go feels absolutely massive 
and the steering is super light and it is like a freaking carpet a flying carpet okay so we are going to drive in the vicinity of the Rolls-Royce motor cars factory because this is a beautiful area and we also have the Goodwood motor circuit around the corner okay let's go we are going to aerodrome westerton this direction so it wafts along in front of me i've got a speedometer a fuel gauge a temperature gauge and a power reserve gauge which is awesome so no rev counter the roads here are well they are okay actually yesterday we drove here and they were a lot narrower. So motor circuit left in 400 yards. Oh, but man, there's really nothing that drives like a Rolls Royce. It's absolutely incredible. I have very little wind noise as well, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the entrance. I guess I, I'm, I'm just I'm allowed to drive here I guess uh, through there look right can you go around that way and across the track yeah sure lovely thank you no very problem much. thank you okay so we cannot go through the tunnel we have to go around this is very cool and of course you have to do this with a Rolls Royce. Okay, I guess... <laughs> I'm just going to keep driving until someone stops me. Check this out guys. I'm actually on the Goodwood Motor Circuit. So the black badge, it's not really a sporty car. It's not meant to be a sporty car. It's more like a Rolls Royce with a sporty or with a dynamic alter ego. That's what it's supposed to be. It can do both because it, it really doesn't lose its waftability. It doesn't lose its comfort or its quietness and poise. Alrighty, so we're back, back on track. So as I was saying earlier, there's nothing really that feels like a Rolls Royce. Yes, they've been bought by BMW. Yes, there are some BMW parts in here. You know, the infotainment stuff, the engine is from BMW. But everything that matters Everything that you feel, everything that you touch, everything that you experience driving this car, it's Rolls Royce. There's no doubt about it. It, it just makes you feel so special. It, it encapsulates you in this insane cocoon of comfort and silence. And I think the fact that they now have a black badge, a more dynamic version, uh, that looks a bit more menacing. I think it fits this time really well because Rolls-Royce have been developing their audience, their clientele over the past years since they were bought by BMW. And their customers have actually gone from being like 60, 65 years on average to being 40, 45 years on average. And that is a lot, 20 years on average. And that's mainly because they came with the Ghost, with the Wraith and with this Dawn. And now with this black badge, it's even more obvious that this is for younger people. And I think that it's really cool to see that a brand like Rolls Royce, this is our hotel actually where we stayed this night, which was really nice, the Goodwood Hotel. Uh, but I think it's really nice that a brand like Rolls Royce is able to change their clientele so much and is able to to bring that average age down by so much because it's such a cool brand and I think that 
in the recent years, I think with, with all those black badges, you know, they're getting cooler and cooler, if you ask me. Okay, so we're going to turn around here. And I, once I get some space, I'll try to floor it a bit, but I have to say, guys, that this is quite a challenge to drive a car that's this big on the right side with the steering wheel on the right side and driving on the left side. It is so, I, have to re I really have to get used to it. So I'm not going to do anything crazy. Alrighty. So handling wise, uh, there is a little button that says low on the gear lever. Yeah. Oh, listen to that exhaust. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So the valves in the exhaust open. You feel that the steering is a little bit more direct. The throttle response is a lot more aggressive. And it actually moves, guys. This thing moves. Oh, the brakes are not bad as well. There's a very soft start of the pedal, but once you go through that, there's a lot of feel in the pedal, which I was not expecting. It's really nice. Okay, uh, we are going to go right. And give it some beans. Oh, it sounds really nice. No pedal shifters, of course, behind the steering wheel because that is not Rolls Royce. Oh, this car is very wide on this narrow road. Oh man, this, okay. It is, it is freaking quick, this thing. 4.9 seconds to 100, that is, oh, there's a truck coming. 4.9 seconds to 100, that's not bad at all for a car that's this heavy. So we are going to go left. Here, yep. Oh, the suspension is really good as well. I'm, I'm just going like, this is like all first impressions, but the suspension feels really good. It feels very, very poised. It's, it's very weird because it, it's such a heavy, big car, but it feels like it's quite difficult to, to unbalance the chassis, if you know what I mean. Uh, so it has double wishbones at the front, multi-link at the rear. And air suspension, of course. It does still feel very big. But you do feel like you can actually place this car pretty nicely. Even though the steering is super light, it did get heavier when I put it in low mode. That is sport mode. But it's not becoming to call it sport mode if you are in a Rolls Royce which is awesome. So is it everything I thought it was going to be, driving this Dawn Black Badge? I have to say that it is and more. When I saw this car this morning in the sunlight, in that magma red with those black accents, you just get why Rolls-Royce is doing so well. And that's because they get what their customers want. Yes, it's crazy expensive, and you could ask the question if it's worth it, but once you drive it, you feel like you're the only person that matters, you know? Everything else is gone. It's just you, your Rolls Royce, and the way it makes you feel. And I don't think I've ever driven a car that made me feel like that. Even though I'm just driving it for like 10 minutes. And on roads I don't know, on the wrong side of the car, on the wrong side of the road, and still you know, it makes you feel special. Something else that I really love about these cars is the fact that you can absolutely spec the hell out of it. You can make it as crazy as you want. And that's something that we don't see enough of. We see too many, you know, gray blob cars, just the same, same spec, same engine, same everything. You walk into a car park and you see like 10 of the same cars. And I know that it's Rolls Royce and I know that it's super expensive, but the fact that you can do it is just so nice. And it means that you get these totally different cars that really 
convey the personality of the person who bought it, who's, who specced it. I have really enjoyed this Dawn black badge because it is a weapon, but it does everything so politely that it, it just makes me smile. Absolutely love it. So I hope you enjoyed it too. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you at the next one. Bye guys.